how do you start a second movement after you end with this unison, you know, scream out? Where do you go from that? I can imagine Beethoven, you know, what's next? Instead of using that fifth, we're going to expand it. We're going to expand it to an octave. So, bum, 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 bum. That rhythm that opens the second movement is so powerful. I mean, it was used to, in so many commercials, so many TV shows, everywhere, because it's really taking that statement idea and knocking us over the head with it, finally. And um, the fact that that rhythm is related to the rhythm we heard at the end of the first movement is very important organically, even if we don't know it consciously. It's unusual to put the scherzo in the second movement position. It's usually in the third movement, so we can tell, ah, he's up to something here, what's going on? Um, and this movement goes on and on, this rhythmic thing. It's sort of like, okay, we got it, we got it. And just when you think, okay, I, I really can't take this anymore, then he suddenly makes in a cello rondo and goes into a trio section, which is dramatically different. It's just a, a nice, it's almost as though a, you, you ended up, you opened the door and you're out in the mountains suddenly, you know. It's very, to me, it's very rustic. It feels very outdoorsy. It connects us to an important, um, a very important part of Beethoven, which was his connection to nature. So we're outdoors. Suddenly we're outdoors. Okay, and there we are. And then that scherzo comes back again. No, no, we're here. Don't leave us. Don't leave us. And we go around the whole block again. And then we think we're going to the middle section, outdoors again, and suddenly he just shuts the door. And we're finished. Pop, 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 pop. And as a listener, I think you should say, wait a minute, Beethoven, what? that was, it's over? And that's really important because Beethoven is trying to get our attention, and he does it so beautifully by saying, you know, it's not what you think it is. And that's what he says at the end of this moment. 